Our own questions, the Honourable Member for Leeds Granville Falcon. Nine years into this NDP Liberal government, taxes are up, costs are up, crimes up, and times up for this Prime Minister and his de facto finance minister, Carbon Tax Carney. Since taking on the role, the friends and business interests of Carbon Tax Carney have benefited with billions of tax dollars, two billion for his buddy at Telesat and Brookfield getting a seat at the table to get their hands on ten billion Canadian tax dollars. Suddenly, Carbon Tax Carney is raising funds for these Liberals in exchange for all of those billions. So will they cooperate with a investigation from Canada's lobbying commissioner? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Well, Madam Speaker, the Death Valley well driller is poking more dry holes. <laughs> Out outstanding Canadians stepping up to advise the Liberal Party or any party is a very good thing. But what this member wants to cloud is the fact that, Madam Speaker, inflation's down. Interest rates are down. Wage settlements are up. The economy is up. We've reached a soft landing in this country. They should stop talking the country down. We're going to continue lifting the country up, Madam Speaker. Over Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, Regional Lakes. Like all Canadians, I wish that every time we looked for a scandal, it wasn't just surface deep, like the public safety minister found guilty of breaking the law, the prime minister broke the law, the trade minister broke the law. These guys can't help themselves. And now he wants to tell us that Canadians have never had it so good, and that's why they have carbon tax Carney, who's lining the pockets of his friends and himself, all so that he'll raise a little cash for a dying Liberal Party. Canadians have had absolutely enough after nine years of their corruption and grift, so why won't the Prime Minister subject his new de facto finance minister to the conflict of interest regime? Is he worried that he's going to be found guilty of breaking the law too? Honourable Minister of Labour. Madam Speaker, the predictions of impending doom coming from that member in particular and his political party really sound discordant to Canadians. What is happening across this country, Madam Speaker, is that after the pandemic, we've achieved that rare feat, a soft landing, no recession, wage gains, inflation coming down, interest rates coming down in this country. The finance minister this very week putting in place measures that will make young people more able to purchase a home. Madam Speaker, these are things that you do when you... Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, Rideau Lakes. Let's talk about what they've achieved. Record lineups at food banks with 25% of Canadians not knowing where their next meal is coming from, not able to heat their homes, a third of food bank users being children. They are starving and freezing in the dark after nine years of this NDP Liberal government and their carbon tax on everything that's being boosted by carbon tax Carney, who's only doing and of course, to raise his stock portfolio, which we saw with Brookfield stocks hitting six months high in exchange for policies from this government and for him fundraising for them. Canadians are broke. These Liberals broke them. Let's have a carbon tax election. Yeah.